So continuing with stockholder equity, I wanted to go over a couple of things with stockholder equity. The idea is we're going to look at some stock issuances. And when you issue stock, it's kind of like you're putting a security out in the market. You know, you're getting cash and you're issuing a stake in your company. So there are a couple of different securities out there that you can issue. Primarily what people issue is, is common and preferred stock, equity-wise. That's what's most common in the market. So I just want to do an, an example with you guys to show you exactly how we allocate between common and preferred stock. So we have a problem here. Manning Company issued 10,000 shares of its $5 par value common stock, having a fair value of $25 per share and 15,000 shares of its $15 par value preferred stock having a fair value of $20 per share for a lump sum of 520,000. How much of the proceeds would be allocated to common stock? So let's see here. I'll show you what we have here. So we have essentially 10k shares is what they're saying here. We have 10,000 all right and they're saying it's valued at 25 right so and then we have 15,000 shares of the preferred at $20 right so this is how you do this problem is you take this 15 K at 20 and the 10 K at 25 right so you multiply out how much you actually are getting for these, right? How much you're actually getting. So this one is easy. It's 250K, right? 250K, all right? And the other one is 15,000 times 20. So we have 300,000 here, 300K, right? Now, what do we do here? We have a total of 550. So this whole issuance, you know, we had some common, we had some preferred, preferred stock at all basically valued at 550, right? But the stockholders paid 520 for it. Right, so the question is, since they paid 520, what's the proportion? So all you got to do is divide the 250 by the 550 and the 300 by the 550 to look at the percent distribution. So this is 45.4 percent. 45, and this is basically the rest is 54.5. Right, and now since you got 520, you just multiply it out. So common stock we know was the 250k, which was 45.4 percent. So you just multiply 520 times 0 0.454, and what you end up getting as the answer is 236,364. So you get answer is B. And again, the, the reason we're doing this is, you know, primarily in the market, they issue either common or preferred stock. And, you know, what's the procedure? When, you know, I used to buy equities when I used to, when I used to work in trading. And basically, you know, you're getting like a percent or two or five of a company. You know, you're giving them cash and they're giving you shares. And the shares give you a certain percentage of the company. We're just sort of looking here from, you know, more of a technical aspect. How much is going to go to common versus how much is going to go to the preferred? So, th so this way, you know, an allocation because they paid 520. You know, what goes to common is 236,364.